so immediately what comes up for me when I think about what does it mean to be present is a quote from one of my mentors, Philip Shepard, who he talks about, you can only be present when you are in relationship with someone or something else. So the idea of presence on its own of I'm going to go off and separate from the world and go into my little meditation corner and shut the world out and be inside. That's not really about being present because you've actually disconnected. When you're present, it's really about being receptive to anything and everything. You know, for me, when I really ground down and feel presence, right, I'm feeling the energy of the earth rising up my feet. I'm feeling the wind and the birds and the energy of all the people around me and and my friends and my family and my loved ones. I'm feeling the sun. I'm feeling just the oneness. I know that sounds a little cheesy, but to me that, that presence really means being in relationship. And the challenge of this is, is we live in a culture that, that tells us from an early age that, you know, we have good emotions and bad emotions. And when we have bad emotions, we should let them go, which how can you be present? How can you be present in your life, present in yourself, present in your relationships if a part of you is wrong or bad? And so what happens is we we start to slowly disconnect, right? Stress and pain are bad, yet stress and pain are also a badge of honor. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> and so we're creating these situations where we feel that tension, and that tension's is, tension is bad, and we want to push it away. We feel our pain, and we want to push it away. We feel our anger, and we want to push it away. We feel our fear, we want to push it away. And what's happening is we're actually disconnecting from ourselves, And then, of course, there's this added pressure of self-care and meditate and think positive, right? And again, the whole idea of thinking positive, right, a lot of times what happens is, you know, you try and think positive and then you hear the voice in the back of your head that says, well, yeah, but, you know, you didn't do the whole workout today or, you know, for me, it's, yeah, well, you didn't, you know, you skimped on CrossFit or you didn't do that last rep, so I'm beating myself up and then that part of me that's beating myself up is bad. So what happens is, you know, we're actually so disconnected from ourselves. And in order to fully be present, you actually have to be completely receptive to yourself. That means feeling the energy, feeling the parts of you that maybe aren't so pleasant and loving them anyway. And... I think nowadays with so much that's going on in, in the coaching and the self-help world is is we think that we're going to get ourselves to presence through thinking. And I really think, I really feel, and just inviting, you know, if this feels right for you, but presence can only be achieved through feeling. And when you are in your body and living from your body, You're actually connected to the whole world around you, present to, in relationship with the world around you. And the sense that I get is just like expansion and abundance and you know that feeling when anything is possible? To be fully present is to live in relationship to the expansive possibility of what is. This is Body Mind Living with Laura Wick. Thanks for watching.